Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video. Today I have here the uh, Motorola Moto X Style Pure Edition. And here's the LG G4. Uh, basically guys, uh, this video is to compare and to prove or to show you guys uh, if the Motorola camera is actually good or not. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, for a long time, uh, when it comes to phones, I like two things. I like the look of the phone and I like the camera. Uh, but they have to go together, at least for me, that's just my taste. Uh, you can give me the uh, base camera on a cell phone, but if I don't like how the phone looks like, I might turn that down and not go for that phone. Uh, or you can give me the best look on a phone, but if the camera is not good, then I'm not gonna buy it. So uh, the LG G4 offers a really nice look, as you guys can see, and also a really good camera, one of the best cameras from any smartphone in 2015. Uh, the Motorola Moto X also offers a really nice look. Uh, you can personalize the look by changing the color and the finish on the back. Uh, and right now, there's a lot of people talking about this camera. Uh, it's being rated also as one of the uh, best cameras on a cell phone right now. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, specs on both of these uh, cameras. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the interface and I'm gonna show you guys side-by-side -side comparison between videos and pictures that I took with both phones. So same picture, same video taken with both phones. We're gonna focus on the quality of the picture, the color reproduction, and also the autofocus when it comes to video recording. So let's go ahead and start right now. All right, guys, so we're looking at the uh, LG website right here where they are advertising all the information about the camera for the LG G4. Uh, without getting too technical, basically the aperture on this uh, camera, it's a 1.8 and it offers 60 megapixel rear camera, 8 megapixel front facing camera. It includes a manual mode and color spectrum sensor. Now, let's uh, take a look here at the uh, Motorola Quick. Uh, again, to make it quick and not get into too many uh, technical uh, specs and all that, 21 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, it goes with the uh, HDR mode, and they included basically a really, really good Sony IMX230 sensor. So, uh, also quick here, just to give you guys an idea on the specs on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. The aperture for the Samsung is 1.9. So pretty much the aperture on the Motorola, it's the biggest right now with 2.0. Guys, also to understand what aperture is when it comes to a camera, here's a definition. Uh, aperture is referred to the lens diaphragm opening inside of a photographic lens. Uh, the size of the diaphragm opening in a camera lens regulates amount of light passes through onto the film inside the camera the moment when the shutter curtain in camera opens during an exposure process. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look now at the interface on both cameras. Okay, we're gonna start here with the uh, Moto X. We access the camera here. Uh, the interface is actually really easy to use and simple. Uh, we tap on the screen to take a picture, uh, click right there to start the recording. You can pause the recording, resume, stop your recording. If you swipe uh, this way, you get access to the last picture or video taken. Swipe back, it takes you back to the uh, camera. And if you swipe right here, you get access to all the different settings. Uh, we get the uh, HDR uh, flash. Here is the uh, tab to uh, control the focus and exposure, uh, video size. Uh, the next one, it gives you access to the uh, widescreen or standard size, a uh, timer, uh, panorama, and we also get right here location, and you can turn on and off uh, the uh, sound for the camera and the feature to uh, check the phone in order to uh, open the camera. Uh, right here is the uh, access to the front facing camera, pretty much uh, the same. Tap to take a picture recording right here, stop the recording. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the LG. All right, when it comes to the LG, uh, there's a little more information to give you and more things to share. 
Uh, we're looking here at the uh, front facing camera right now. Uh, you, you get right here the option to do simple or auto. Uh, you get the option right here to do mode. And you get the option right here to change the uh, picture size, uh, video size. Uh, you can use a uh, voice commands to take picture timer. Uh, you, you can also do uh, dual cameras, which I'm not going to get into all that. And uh, right here we get some uh, options. Uh, here's uh, to record video. You can tap right here to take pictures, pause the video, stop the video. Uh, let's go ahead and now take a look at the uh, rear camera. Uh, the rear camera uh, offers uh, three different modes, uh, simple, auto, and manual. The manual mode gives you uh, control to uh, different things right here. Manually, you can adjust uh, all these things right here. Pretty much like if you were using a professional camera. Uh, let's go back to the uh, auto mode. Uh, you get the flash right there. You get modes right here to uh, do panorama, dual cameras, slow motion. And then right here, you can control the uh, HDR, uh, picture size, video size, activate the uh, voice commands, timer, and the grid. Uh, it takes pictures are really, really quick. So uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at some samples of uh, pictures and videos taken with both phones. All right, guys, and so now we're going to take a look at the gallery on both phones and show you pictures and videos that I took. The same pictures and the same video I took with both uh, phones. Um, both phones are in the out of brightness mode right now for the record. Uh, let's go ahead and start here with this uh, picture. Put the phone in the landscape uh, mode. So you guys can see and compare the uh, quality of the picture as well as uh, the colors. I'm gonna try to bring the uh, camera a little bit closer. So that was a picture taken outside uh, with the uh, rear camera. Uh, this is a picture taken with the front facing camera in the dark, no light at all. This one was taken with the front facing uh, camera and the flash. Uh, this is a video taken uh, in the same room using the front facing camera on the Amoro X with the flash versus the LG, there is no flash. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is a picture taken in a room with no light uh, using the rear camera on both. This is a picture taken in low light. Here's a video on both. Video with the front facing camera in 1080p with both phones. Uh, this is a picture taken with the uh, rear camera on both phones. And let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. All right, let's uh, go to the next one. Uh, this is a video with the uh, rear camera right on now, both phones. Moto X with Star the rear camera. edition with, with the, the rear LG camera G4. in 1080p. All right, let's go to the next one. This is a picture taken with the uh, front facing camera on both phones. This one is uh, with the rear camera. All right, we go to the next one. Uh, this is a picture taken with the uh, rear camera on both. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of uh, zoom in here. All right, we go to the next one. Here's a video. Recording in uh, 1080p right now in 1080p with, with the rear with the camera, rear camera on, on the, the Motorola G4. Moto X Pure Edition. All 
I don't know if you guys notice here with the LG, uh, the uh, focus was not working for a moment. Here's a picture taken with the uh, front facing camera on both phones. Here's a video testing the uh, auto focus on both. All right, this is a video in 1080p. Recording 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 in 1080